The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is taken from the book of Ezekiel. But you, son of man, are to listen to what I say to you. Do not be like a rebel, like that rebellious tribe. Open your mouth and eat what I am about to give you. When I looked, there was a hand stretching out to me, holding a scroll. He unrolled it in front of me. It was written on, front and back. On it was written, lamentations, dirges, and cries of grief. He then said, Son of man, eat what you see. Eat this scroll, and then go and speak to the house of Israel. I opened my mouth. He gave me the scroll to eat, and then said, Son of man, feed on this scroll which I am giving you, and eat your fill. So I ate it, and it tasted sweet as honey. He then said, Son of man, go to the house of Israel and tell them what I have said. And our response is taken from Psalm 119. In the way of your instructions lies my joy, a joy beyond all wealth. Your instructions are my delight, your wishes my counselors. The law you have uttered is more precious to me than all the wealth in the world. How pleasant your promise to my palate, sweeter than honey in my mouth. Your instructions are my eternal heritage. They are the joy of my heart. I open wide my mouth, panting eagerly for your commandments. And a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. At this time, the disciples came to Jesus and said, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? So he called a little child to him, whom he set among them. Then he said, In truth I tell you, unless you change and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. And so the one who makes himself as little as this little child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Anyone who welcomes one little child like this in my name welcomes me. See that you never despise any of these little ones, for I tell you that their angels in heaven are continually in the presence of my Father in heaven. Tell me, suppose a man has a hundred sheep and one of them strays. Will he not leave the ninety-nine on the hillside and go in search of the stray? In truth, I tell you, if he finds it, it gives him more joy than do the ninety-nine that did not stray at all. Similarly, it is never the will of your Father in heaven that one of these little ones should be lost. The Gospel of the Lord.